nine forecast. And this is why the red flag warning was issued looking on the left side of your screen from our Carter Mountain weather camera vantage point there looking towards the Blue Ridge Mountains. We are seeing plumes of smoke right there on the left hand side of the screen. That's a wildfire in the distance, and I'm sure you can certainly smell that smoke into the Charlottesville area in Albemarle County and across a large part of Central Virginia and the Shenandoah Valley. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. First alert weather day category through about 8 p.m. for the wildfires that continue and there's a risk that some of them may get out of control even more. The, this is a red flag warning that continues until 8 o'clock this evening for the entire area for those gusty winds, very dry atmosphere, low relative humidity and the dry ground wildfire risk continues and it's being driven by those strong winds in excess of 50 and 60 miles per hour around 2 3 o'clock. The National Weather Service upgraded some parts of the area under a high wind warning. That's for the Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah Valley, and that does that also include Madison and into Green Counties. That's through 5 p.m. Winds up to 60 miles per hour. Now we've also had reports of some power outages into portions of the valley and into areas of the Blue Ridge. And from 5 to 8 p.m., that warning gets downgraded to a wind advisory for winds gusting 40 and 50 miles per hour in this same zone. Over Charlottesville, Central Virginia, we've had winds that may gust still through 8 p.m. up to about 30 and 40, possibly even 45 miles per hour. And then after 8 p.m., the winds are going to relax and we're going to chill down overnight into the 30s and even some 20s. So overnight in that first forecast dropping through the 60s, 50s, 30s and some 20s by daybreak, maybe some frost too, and that will help to kind of um, help to alleviate some of our wildfire danger overnight into tomorrow morning. So the wildfire danger is a lot lower tomorrow. Lighter breezes, light and variable. It'll also be a cooler day with daytime highs going from the 40s at noon into the 50s in the afternoon. So we're about 10 degrees cooler tomorrow compared to today. Storm Team 29's live Doppler radar is completely dry. All the rain and snow is staying well to our north. We have a dry front moving across the area right now, and that's reinforcing those gusty winds through 8 p.m. Midnight and beyond. Here's tomorrow morning into the afternoon. It's light and variable wind gusts, and that will set us up for a frost and freeze into your Friday morning on a more widespread scale. We are completely dry through most of Friday during the day, and then Friday overnight into Saturday, widespread swath of rain will arrive, and it looks like by the evening hours into Sunday, it'll begin to dry out. Rainfall totals will be appreciable, especially near and east of the Route 15 corridor. Could be an inch and a half down that way and lighter amounts to the west and the valley, but the bottom line, a soaking rain for Saturday. Your forecast overnight first alert weather category through about 8 p.m. Mainly clear skies with overnight lows in the 20s and the 30s. Forecast on Thursday, it'll be a cooler day with highs in the 50s under a mainly sunny sky. More importantly, a lot less wind. Seven day forecast. We're in the 20s and 30s tomorrow night. 60 on Friday with the increasing clouds. Rain on Saturday, 50s on Sunday, and dry skies.